Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to program ghost notes using MIDI in Reaper. I have a project set up here with a drum track, and I want to record a drum part. But I'm also going to add some ghost notes to add some subtlety or nuance to the performance. We'll start off by creating an empty MIDI item. Control on the PC, Command on the Mac, with snapping turned on, and just draw it from bar one to bar three. And here's where we're gonna record our part. We're creating the item ahead of time so we can record into it. Then we're gonna set up a loop from bar one to bar three, and turn looping on in the transport right here. Then we'll turn on the metronome or a click track right over here, right click it and set it up to run the metronome during recording and add a count in before recording of one bar. Then we're gonna add some drum software to our track as a sound source. Now it doesn't matter which one you choose, everything we do in this video will apply to any of them. I'm gonna right click over here and choose Easy Drummer. But like I said, this is gonna work with any drum software you choose. Then we're gonna set our input on the track right here to MIDI, my USB MIDI keyboard, all channels. Turn on input monitoring and put it into record. And if I play my MIDI keyboard, we should hear our drums. And we do. So now to record into this item, we need to change our recording mode. We'll go over here and change it from record input to record MIDI overdub and choose it right here. That's gonna overdub all of our MIDI we record into this item. So we can record it in multiple passes. And I also wanna quantize on the way in, saving me a step afterwards. It also makes it easier for overdubbing, as what we hear back is already quantized on each loop. So we'll go over here and right click and choose track record settings, input quantize, which opens up this dialog. Let's turn it on and choose 16th notes, because the part we're going to play has 16th notes in it. So now we're ready to record our part. And to make this easier, we're gonna record it in different passes, starting with the kick and snare, then the hi-hat, and then finally our ghost notes, which are gonna be softer notes on the snare to add nuance to our performance, as you'll see. Go into record. As you can see, we recorded that in two different passes, but it's kind of boring as a performance. We could add some subtlety or nuance to the snare by adding some ghost notes, which are softer hits that are syncopated on the snare. So let's record that in this pass. Let's hear it before. It's kind of static and boring. Afterwards. It just adds more feel or syncopation to the part. So now if we want to edit our drum part, we could double click the MIDI item 
to open up the MIDI editor. And here's the part we just played. Here's the kick, here's the snare, and here's the hi-hat. Now, if we want to edit just the ghost notes, if we right-click the snare, it's going to select all the snares. Change the volume like this, but we don't want to do that. We just want to edit the ghost notes. So we could do that using Filter Events. So let's right-click over here, choose View, and choose Filter Events. And that opens up this dialog where we could just choose certain notes based on what notes are played and how hard they're hit. So we can filter out the ghost notes to just edit those. We'll choose event type as note, choose note over here, use piano keys, hit our snare, and that chooses just the snare note. But if we hit set selection, it's again going to select all the snares. And we don't want that. So let's go to velocity and choose 0 to 85. Hit set selection. And it just selected the ghost notes because we played them softer. And we could just see the ghost notes by choosing this option. Show only events that pass the filter. But we're still going to hear the whole part. But we're just seeing the ghost notes and the selected. So we could edit them to be louder or softer. We could also change our note. The snare over here is a bit higher. So let's move it to that sample. Or we can move it to the rim shot. or anything else we want. Let's try a tom. But I kind of preferred it on the snare. And we're happy with this part, we can just move on to the next section of our song. So that's pretty much it. That's how to program ghost notes using MIDI in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.